I've got another bit of uh, Sylvester Weaver for you, a little transition phrase from the uh, guitar rag, and it's going to go like this. I'd like to have you take a look at. I'll be playing with my Golden Gate thumb pick and my big heart skull and crossbones. I played a, a gig last weekend uh, on Friday night and then went out to watch a young blues man on Saturday. Uh, this fella, Aaron Kaplan, does a very good job on the old style stuff. He uh, stays true to it and plays uh, guitars without distortion and lots of noise. Can't keep I do is play old blues music with uh, distortion and a lot of noise, two amplifiers, so there's a bass player right here and there's a slide guitar player right there. But this is a, a tiny section I just wanted to show you on Sylvester Weaver again. It's something that I noticed that uh, Aaron uh, could have done. I wanted to show him uh, that night, but maybe uh, you'll see this, Aaron. Uh, Guitar rag. And right here. So what uh, Sylvester Weaver did in a transitional phrase in the middle of this song wa was uh, going from your D, the number four chord, which is G and number five chord, was to, to do the number two step, but, but in a major chord. Something you've heard in music many, many times. But what he, what he does in there, It's taking that number two and picking up these strings. If you listen to that 1923 record, you will hear that. Later in the song, he does more of that, but you listen to that first verse. 